Good morning, everyone. I'm just going to do a, what I hope will be a quick little update on a few things that are happening inside. As you can see out through the window there in a second, we still have lots of snow and ice here. But in front of these garden doors all winter, I've had uh, four plants that uh, spend the summer outdoors. What you're looking at there is the one of the mystery capsicums. I don't know what it is. Seeds that a, a lady down in Alabama gave me a couple of years ago, and I grew two of them. They grew as tall as trees. I had them in the hoop house for the last part of, of the year, last year. This one, I cut it back a bit and potted it in a smaller pot and brought it inside, and it has continued to grow all winter. No blossoms yet, but uh, it's growing more now that we're getting more sunlight every day. Uh, the other one I didn't cut back, and it was in a one of those uh, smart pots, those bag-like things. I just put it in the basement. It has stayed green down there all winter, even though it's you know getting very little light coming in through basement windows. So I'm hopeful that both of these will go out into the garden, into the hoop house, as soon as it's warm enough. Next to it is a well subtropical shrub oleander uh, didn't bloom for me last year it's just a cutting that friends gave me and I'm trying to keep it going and then there is the other capsicum here which is capsicum anum um, black cherry yeah black cherry I think anyway uh, lots of red chilies I've had off of it I have a large container of them in the kitchen that have dried and I'm going to uh, put through the food processor soon to use for like hot pepper flakes but that one has managed to stay alive all winter the bottom of it is starting to look like it might be going to lose its foliage uh, I also saved two of those the other one in the basement has gone completely dormant it's lost all of its leaves I'm hoping that they will do what they do in uh, more tropical regions when I put them back in the hoop house I'm hoping it will uh, leave out and uh, produce again for me this summer and then finally, next to that, is a bay laurel, laurel leaf, uh, bay leaf, that I've had for several years. It doesn't seem to grow a lot each year, but it did grow quite a bit last year in the hoop house, so I'll repot that and put it out. We'll take a little look at what's happening under lights, and that's all I'll be showing today, I guess. Before we go to the light garden, I have to show off my latest acquisition. Arrived yesterday from Vessi's. A brand new Hawes watering can, English watering can. The company's called Hawes. I had one years ago, and uh, it's seen better days now. It's been used for, for many years. This is a five-liter can. But what I like about them is the watering rose on the end, the very fine spray from the watering water rose. You can also take that off and just use it like a, a small spigot that you can put on the end as well. But the water that comes out of it is such a fine stream that uh, it doesn't knock down seedlings or whatever if you're watering small plants that you can't get in under the water it doesn't really do any damage to them so that's one of my newest acquisitions here well here in the light garden some of the pepper seedlings are getting to the point where they're soon going to need to be put into individual pots uh, these four varieties i guess these four varieties are all sweet peppers the one furthest over to the right is uh, a seed that Diane Mum gave me called Sweet Pickle. And next to that is one of the seeds that I bought from Vessi's called Fat and Sassy. And then next to that is another seed that Diane Mum gave me called California Wonder. Those were the first to come up and they're the largest now. And then finally, these little ones here that are well, they were planted much later than the other ones, so they're just up and starting to grow. There's a bit of a story behind those. Uh, somebody who uh, requested, no, I guess he didn't request seeds. I sent him uh, artichoke seeds. He was one of the people that requested some artichoke seeds. And he's in Germany. Uh, and he sent me a gift of seeds of a Japanese pepper, sweet pepper, called shishito. And I have some of that available on my... Uh, uh, seed exchange if you're interested. Anyway, the story behind it, he is an Englishman who now lives in Germany and he got the seeds from a Japanese friend who has also immigrated to Germany and, and saves these seeds. So I'm quite excited about being able to try them. In front, the four little pots here with nothing up in them yet. Those are New Zealand spinach. 
I've looked for those seeds for years. An old-time gardener in my family, who uh, has passed on now, used to grow it. It doesn't bolt. It isn't really a spinach plant. It's a substitute for spinach, but tastes very much like spinach. And in some places, it's even perennial. I guess probably in New Zealand, it would be perennial. Um, anyway, I'm so pleased to have finally found the seed. I've looked for years and got some seed from Halifax Seed. Next to that are a couple of um, romaine lettuce plants, which I just thought I'd grow for fun under, under light. They are doing quite well and will soon need to be transplanted into larger pots, I guess. And then there's the, uh, if you watch one of my previous videos, the rosemary that I'm trying to uh, get to root. It hasn't been in there long enough to root yet, but everything is still looking nice and green. Take a look down at the lower level here. I don't know if you remember last fall, if you were following me, I think it was in September, I took some cuttings off of that uh, tall capsicum that I just showed you in front of the windows and tried to root them. I took, I don't know, five or six cuttings. They all died except this one. And this particular one has been in a sealed uh, Ziploc bag in front of the windows all winter and didn't turn brown. It hasn't died, but I took it out of the bag a week or so ago and it seems to be perking up. I don't know if the thing's finally going to grow some roots or not, but if it is, it's one very long process. And next to that are my three artichokes. Two that were started a little bit later, and then the third one there, which is a bit larger. And next to that, it's probably impossible to see. Well, I guess you can see one little thing coming up in there. That is the uh, Latin American sweet chili, sweet uh, pepper called ahi doce. And finally, I have one that's come up very long to germinate. It takes three weeks for them to germinate. It's just about three weeks now, so at least I'm getting one. And I just did a haircut on, on the uh, shallots. So they're not quite as scraggly as they used to be. And this is the uh, greens that I cut off the top, which I plan to rinse and put them into a salad or something. I can't let those go to waste. They have such a nice onion smell. Well, thank you for watching. I just wanted to give you a little update of what's happening under lights. Uh, out in the hoopos, it's minus 7 today, but the inside temperature, not even in direct sunlight, is, is up to 10 or 11 degrees. And yesterday I noticed that some of my uh, garlic that I planted out there last October is starting to come up. So there is hope of spring. Talk to you later. Thank you for watching.